We are looking at showers and thunderstorms moving through the area right now, and we are still going to see more showers and storms behind this initial line. Bigger picture of what's going on. A big upper level low has kind of parked itself over the Midwest, and it will impact our weather for the next few days, though today is mainly the final day that we will see some thunderstorms, though rain showers will continue tomorrow and Friday. But here's a look at the line of some showers and storms. A lot of lightning with this line as it continues to move to the north northeast. Also a lot of reports of some pea size hail and in addition to that we are getting some really good downpours when you do get one particular cell moving through your area. For example, Waukesha picked up four tenths of an inch as we had that uh, shower and even thunderstorm move through about an hour ago. Right now we're starting to see more of the rain right towards Lake Michigan, right through Milwaukee and again up towards Sheboygan. You're like the last spot that has not seen any showers or storms, but it's a matter of time within about the next half hour to up to an hour. That's when you'll start to see the showers and storms roll through. Now, if you're one of the places that has already had a shower or storm roll through, that does not mean you are done with the thunderstorms as we move through the rest of this evening. As we move hour by hour, six o'clock, still looking at more moisture through the area, and then we do see somewhat of a lull as we get closer to seven or eight o'clock tonight. But once we get closer to 10 o'clock, that's when we'll see more moisture and a good chance for thunderstorms redeveloping across the area. So just as you're falling to sleep, you might be looking at some flashes of lightning and hearing those rumbles of thunder. But by the time we get to midnight or one o'clock in the morning, most of that energy moves off to the north. I will actually keep things mostly cloudy moving into tonight but with really no showers again happening after midnight tonight. But we will see more showers move into the area as we move into Thursday, especially around the middle part of the day. Racine still seeing some showers, though some of the heaviest rain and even the small hail is just off to your north. We're currently at 64 degrees, though today was another day where we saw temperatures into the 70s. That makes five days at least warmer than 70 degrees. And yesterday there were quite a few low 80s on the board. Those warm temperatures, though, are gone for now. Temperatures will slide into the 50s as we move into tonight. And over the next couple of days, we will keep our temperatures closer to average, though still slightly warmer than average. 58 as we move into tomorrow. Shower still breezy. Winds will be out of the southeast 10 to 15 miles per hour. Your seven day forecast showing the 50s sticking around as we move into Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday. We will keep showers with this system on Friday. Another storm system kind of skirts just to our southeast. That'll bring a chance for some showers late Saturday through early Sunday and a chance for a couple more showers on Monday. Otherwise, looking at more clouds into next week and the 50s sticking around. We'll be right back.